The Long Handle Spoons by Mary McWilliams. Far away in an enchanted forest lived three handsome yet selfish raccoons. They prided themselves in having the most beautiful silverware in the entire forest. Other animals also lived in this forest. The birds chirped. One day, those raccoons may have to learn a lesson about being so proud and selfish. Bear kept his distance far away from the raccoon, saying, I prefer not to be around all that selfishness. Those raccoons are even arrogant and selfish to each other. The all-seeing spirit of the forest was listening and watching all the forest interactions and decided to do something about the raccoon's pride and selfishness. A famine fell upon the forest and no food could be found. The forest was devastated. The animals thought they would starve. At last, one day the famine ended. The forest was thriving again. The all-seeing spirit of the forest declared that a great feast would be prepared for all to eat, however, with one stipulation. The raccoons could only eat with the spoons specifically designed for them. When the raccoons saw the spoons that were specially prepared for them, they became very angry. The spoons that were prepared for them were long-handle wooden spoons. Where are our beautiful silver spoons? The raccoons whined. A grand feast was prepared, and all the foods were so delicious. It was also declared that the raccoons could not eat with their bare hands or any other way. They had to use the long-handle wooden spoons. How are we to feed ourselves with these spoons? The handles are too long, the raccoons cried. Wise old owl grew tired of hearing the raccoons whining and crying. But the raccoons continued, crying with their sunken in, empty bellies. What are we to do? The others are eating, but we cannot feed ourselves with these long handle spoons. Old Owl said, you silly, selfish things, you can eat if you feed each other. The raccoons looked at each other. This was something they had never done before. They slowly picked up the spoons and started feeding each other. They fed each other until their bellies were full. They even used the long handle spoons to pass food across the table to feed others. All the forest was happy, and the raccoons learned a valuable lesson. Serving others can be very fulfilling, 